This lecture series really came about out of the, or rather came out of the university's vision and mission, which was adopted in 2012. Um, the university's stated vision is to be an international university of choice positioned in Africa, dynamically shaping the future. And this vision is underpinned by four core values, imagination, conversation, regeneration, and an ethical foundation. Um, and I think that these values really resonates very powerfully with our core business as a faculty of art, design, and architecture. Because really those are the kind of core values, if you think about it, that really underpin any kind of creative endeavor. And certainly in this faculty, we're very interested in responding to the challenges of the real world problems with real world design solutions. Um, and we like to think that art, architecture and design can really and fundamentally change the world. So this is the second in a series of four lectures that examines each of these uh, core values and the ways in which we might understand them in relation to art and design. Um, which brings me to our guest speaker this evening, Professor Edgar Pitterser, um, very great pleasure and privilege to have him with us here. He holds a PhD from the London School of Economics, an MA in Development Studies from the Institute of Social Sciences uh, in The Hague in the Netherlands, and a BA Honours from the University of the Western Cape. He is the DST NRF South African Research Chair in Urban Policy Studies at the University of Cape Town, who is also the Director of the African Centre for Cities and Professor in the School of Architecture. Um, he previously served as Special Advisor to the Premier of the Western Cape Provincial Government and directed a number of urban policy think tanks before this. He's the founder member of the Isandla Institute and serves on boards of several important committees and foundations. As an urbanist, Professor Peterson is interested in what he calls, and I quote, the drama of cities everywhere and at different moments in time, including the future, the past, and science fiction invocations. Um, at the same time, he remains grounded in the tough and messy reality of cities, which I think is what is going to inform his lecture this evening. Um, although focused largely on two South African cities, namely Johannesburg and Cape Town, uh, he also tracks the fortunes of African cities as part of a larger discourse on sustainable urban transitions. He's the author and editor of a number of books, um, including City Futures, Confronting the Crisis of Urban Development, published by Z Books in 2008. And he has edited a number of other books, including recent publications um, such as Africa's Urban Revolution, Policy Pressures, also by Z Books 2013, and Rogue Urbanism, Emergent African Cities, uh, published by Jakarna, also 2013. He's also founding editor of, uh, co-editor, sorry, of a new urban magazine called Cityscapes that focuses on questions of urbanism in the global south. Professor Peterson leads a team of experts working on an urban development framework for South Africa, which is aimed at devising coherent and effective urban regimes here over the next few years. So I really can't think of anyone better qualified to be speaking to us tonight about the concept of regeneration as it relates to the urban context. Um, in a lecture entitled, Can Regeneration Save the City? Please welcome Edgar Peterson. Thank you. Thank you. 